most of us don't realize just how lucky we are to be living during this no code movement. In my opinion, this is as great of an opportunity as we've had since the rise of the dot com bubble. These no code tools and softwares and apps allow us to automate and scale businesses like never before. And the crazy thing is most of these tools cost only pennies a day and some are even free but they have the manpower of a hundred humans. And so it's crazy what you're able to do. In fact, I run three, almost four multi six figure businesses using these no code tools. And it's allowed me to get rid of the tasks that I don't like to do, automate the tasks that take up a ton of my time. They make me way more efficient and I don't have to hire a ton of people to run these businesses. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through every single no code tool that I'm currently using and I'm gonna show you how they work, what I use them for, what I love about them. And by the end of this video, you should know exactly what you need to be using to grow a business and start making money today. So let's dive into it. So the first tool that I wanna talk about is my favorite tool right now, and that is Notion. If you're not familiar with Notion, this is basically a do-all type of tool. This allows me to organize my entire life from my businesses to my business goals, my personal goals, my personal health. It basically acts as what some people call a second brain. I'm able to keep notes, organize. I'm able to make other integrations and automate things. I've got all of my checklists. I am able to delegate tasks to my team. Literally everything that I need to do in my life, I run on Notion. Now, the thing that I love about Notion is it has a super simple user interface, which makes it not overwhelming for people to use but also the features are super complex in terms of automating this with other tools. And overall, this is by far the best way to organize your entire life. So if you're not using Notion already, this is the first tool that you need to dive into. Now, one more thing that I also love about Notion is it has an incredible app for Mac and for your phone. And so anytime I need to do any work, the first place I go is on my Notion app on my phone. So you need to get it. The next no code tool that I absolutely could not live without is Slack. This is my communication tool that I use for all communication with my teams and my clients. It's way easier than email and text messaging. You're able to go and comment on specific messages. You can leave emojis. You can drop all sorts of different media types and media files. At the end of the day, this is absolutely the best communication tool. But with that being said, you need to be ultra careful with how you set up your notifications and setting up boundaries with this tool because if it's dinging every five minutes of the day, it's going to absolutely destroy your efficiency. The next no-code tool that I love to use and you're probably very familiar with is Google Drive. Inside Google Drive, you've got sheets, you've got docs, everything that you need to basically throw all of your crap in there and be able to save it. And Google Drive is a free tool, obviously. And the one thing that I do love about this as well is everyone's familiar with it. It's really easy to use. It's easy to collaborate. So Google Drive is absolutely a tool that you should be using. Now, those first tools are basically those that I use for my general life and all of my businesses. Now, I want to talk more specifically about the tools that I use inside each business. Now, the first business and my primary focus right now is my membership, Paid Pro. This is a membership for other designers, agency owners, freelancers and we offer courses, we do lots of cool stuff inside of that. So the first tool that I absolutely could not live without in terms of my membership platform is Webflow. I talk about Webflow a ton on this channel, but this is how I build all of my websites, funnels, and landing pages. This is by far the most powerful web design tool. So I would highly recommend learning this as it's going to support you in all of your business endeavors. Now, the next tool that I use is called MemberStack, and this actually integrates pretty seamlessly with Webflow or whatever website builder that you're using, and you're able to create a very customized membership platform. Now, the one thing that I will say is this is a bit more complex than using your typical membership tools like Kajabi or Circle or some of those other ones that you might be familiar with, but if you're looking to create something very custom and integrate it with a tool like Webflow, this is going to be a really great option. I love this because I'm able to stylize and design a completely custom dashboard and login experience for my members. And so MemberStack is fantastic for that. But again, if you're looking for something more simple, you might wanna look elsewhere. Now, the next tool that's an absolute game changer for my business is Zapier. Now, you might have heard of Zapier. I feel like it's gotten very popular in the last few years of this no-code movement. 
Zapier basically connects all of your tools and apps and softwares and passes data and information back and forth. This is a tool that basically makes the no-code movement run because you need to make sure that your tools and softwares are talking with one another. So a great example of this is when someone goes to my website and they sign up for my membership, Zapier is able to take that sign up, they send it to member stack and say, hey, someone just signed up, create an account for them, and then they send it over to Webflow to create a brand new dashboard page within Webflow. And then it takes that person's information and adds them to my mailing list. And so all of that automation is done through Zapier. Without Zapier, it would be an absolute nightmare trying to do that manually. So this is a tool that is a must when you're trying to automate all other tools. Now, the next tool that I just recently found that I'm in love with is StreamYard. This is where I run all of my live streams. The cool part about this is you can customize the whole experience of your live streams. And then directly from StreamYard, you can connect to a YouTube channel or a Facebook group and stream right from there. So in terms of running live streams, this is probably the most user-friendly and most popular option. I would highly recommend looking into this as live streams are a fantastic way to connect with your audience. The next tool that I use for emailing is MailerLite. Now there are a ton of great email tools out there. I don't necessarily think that MailerLite is special or unique in any way, but I love the way that it works. It's simple, easy to understand, and it does a great job. So if you're looking to send email blasts or automations, MailerLite is definitely a great option. All right, so those are the tools that I use for my membership. Now my next business that I use a lot of different no-code tools for is my course business. I have two courses, a course that teaches search engine marketing and a course that teaches sales for web designers. And within this courses business, the most important OCO tool that I use is Teachable. Teachable is hands down the easiest way to upload and host a course online. Basically, all you have to do is film your videos, you throw them into Teachable, and within Teachable, you can collect payments, members can sign up and access your courses, you can create coupons, basically everything that you need to run an online course. Teachable is the best of the best. Now, I love Teachable even more now that I've tried other course tools because I've had nothing but problems with other tools like Podia, and so I highly recommend Teachable. The next tool that's really important for not only my course business, but all other businesses is Stripe. Stripe is probably the most popular payment processor with the exception of maybe PayPal. Stripe is an awesome and very secure way to process payments. And most tools that you use, whether it's Teachable, Member Stack, whatever it is, they're going to do payments through Stripe. So you absolutely can trust Stripe that they're going to do a good job and keep your money safe. All right, so those are the tools that I use for my course business. Now the next business that I run is my agency, Pay Digital. This is where we serve clients, we build websites and do marketing for them. And within my agency, there are a lot of tools that are super necessary to make sure that I don't have to hire a ton of people to keep this agency running. Now, the first tool that we use for project management is Asana. I think Asana does a great job. We've tried a lot of other project management tools. And what I have found is that most of them are fairly similar. You've got Asana, you've got ClickUp, you've got Monday.com. All of them are going to do a great job for you. At the end of the day, we just decide that Asana was a little bit better fit for us. Um, and so I can highly recommend it. It's a great way to keep things organized, to track processes and progress of projects. Um, I really love this tool. Next is the tool that we use for all of our contracts, proposals, invoices, time tracking, basically all of our agency finances, and that is Hello Bonsai. Hello Bonsai is a tool that I've used almost since day one of my agency, and so it would be really difficult to switch to anything else because we're so integrated into it, but I've been very, very pleased with the progress that Hello Bonsai has made over the last couple of years to perfect this tool. I absolutely love the way that it's set up. The dashboard is awesome. You can track all of your finances. And then of course, you're able to create templates for proposals, contracts, invoices, everything that you need. Um, and you can also collect payment through this. And so this is a really fantastic way to manage the finances of any business. Now the next tool is called markup.io. This is my favorite way to get feedback from clients when you are building some sort of visual product or service, any sort of design. You can actually send a screenshot of this through markup.io and it's really easy for your clients to get in and leave comments on specific parts. So then you can make those updates or revisions and then cross off 
the note that they left. And so this is a great way to do the entire revision process with your clients without having to go back and forth on phone calls or emails. The next tool that I use a ton in my agency and with all of my other businesses is Loom. Loom is what I have found to be the best way to do screen recordings. I use this to send reports. I use this to create YouTube videos. I use this to send messages to my team about what they should be doing. Loom is a fantastic tool and it integrates right into your computer right there at the top with a little button. So anytime you wanna record your screen, you just click that button and you're off and running. Now the next business that I'm running that basically feeds all of my other business is my content or my YouTube. And that's where you're probably watching this video right now. And so the tools that I use to create my YouTube content first is an app called Captions. I love this tool because I can basically record a video and it will automatically add captions. I can adjust the design or the style of those captions and then I'm able to publish these as shorts or reels. Now, the reason that I love this tool so much is it's like a couple bucks a month and before this, I was paying 25 bucks per short to have someone else add the captions and edit for me. And so this tool was absolutely a no brainer. And the cool thing is it will even cut out little sections where you're not speaking and compress and edit the video to make sure that it fits within the time limits of shorts and reels. So this is a great app that I would highly recommend. And the other tool that I'm using to come up with content ideas, do keyword research and optimize my videos is called TubeBuddy. This is a Chrome extension that integrates right into your browser and it's going to give you tons of data. It's going to show you the ranking scores of videos. It's going to recommend titles and tags. You can do keyword research to find the best topics for your videos. TubeBuddy is a must if you're trying to grow a YouTube channel. All right, so those are all the main tools that I'm using to run my businesses. There are just two other honorable mentions that I would be remiss if I did not mention. Of course, Zoom is how I run all my video chats and Figma is, in my opinion, currently the best design tool out there. Now, if there are any tools that I'm forgetting that you recommend that I should start using, please drop those down in the comments. And I'm also going to drop links to all of these tools down in the comments because most of them come with free trials and so you can try them out and see if they're a good fit for your business. So thanks so much for watching this video. I'm excited to see what you do with these awesome tools and so you can grow and scale your business during this no code movement. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.